Nearly one month later, an arrest is made in the disappearance of Trisha Todd. Her ex-husband is now charged with her murder. I'm obviously very disappointed that Trisha's not coming home alive. And we're live right now with deputies as they search for Trisha Todd's body. I'm tracking a tropical disturbance that could become our next name, Storm. First, our top story, an arrest, as you heard, in the disappearance of that Hope Sound mom, Trisha Todd's ex-husband, charged with her murder. All right now, the sheriff's office is focusing in on an area of the Treasure Coast for her body. Kelly Dunn begins our team coverage from their command post in Martin County. Kelly? That's right, Ashley and Michael. We are right off of Bridge Road, just west of I-95, where the sheriff's office has set up its command post. This is where the search teams are being dispatched. There are volunteer search teams. There are search teams made up of Martin County Sheriff's deputies. Sadly, they are on a search for remains of Trisha Todd. It was learned today that indeed she will never be coming home. She was murdered and her body was dumped. Here are the pictures that so many of you share of Trisha on social media nearly a month ago trying to help find her and bring her home. She's a nurse, a mom, a mom of a toddler, only 30 years old, Trisha Todd was. This now will take a look at her ex-husband. Stephen Williams is a member of the U.S. Air Force. He is now in jail charged with her murder. He appeared today in Martin County Court and is officially charged with second degree murder and child neglect. It has been, as I said, almost a month since this nightmare began for Trisha's family. She was last seen at a public supermarket along Bridge Road in Home Sound back on April 26th. She was reported missing the very next day, day when she failed to pick up her daughter, a two year old who was in the care of her ex husband who was visiting at that time. Her car was found, the keys were inside, her wallet and her phone were missing. It was May 3rd when Martin County Sheriff's Office investigators went to Raleigh, North Carolina to re-interview the ex-husband, Stephen Williams, who was indeed the last known person to have seen her alive. He did take a polygraph willingly, which did not at that time directly, we're told, tie him to the disappearance, but the investigation went on, as did the search, which was exhaustive, about two weeks in length, by air, by land. It was finally called off by the sheriff's office who said that they would then continue the investigation. There were a number of interviews and it led up to the confession by Stephen Williams and his arrest last night and the charge of second degree murder. Sheriff Snyder this morning when he held a news conference expressed some frustration that Williams had not led them to where he disposed of the body. Let's listen in to Sheriff Snyder today. We will continue doing everything we can and everything in our power to find Trisha's remains. That is now the central and focal point of all the, our efforts and of the sheriff's office. Our Alyssa Hyman has been out covering the search efforts several weeks ago and indeed out today with some of the search teams. Let's check in with Alyssa, who also has reaction from the uh, Trisha Todd's family on the news today of the arrest. Alyssa. Kelly, this is now the staging area in the search for Trisha Todd's body. Deputies now concentrating on areas west of I-95. Meanwhile, the group Demi already has several volunteers on the ground, too. The active search for Trisha Todd is back on after this major break in the case. The sheriff's office has brought the command post back out, setting it up now just west of I-95 along Bridge Road. This is now the heart of the recently expanded search, an area estimated of a 15-mile radius. Despite Stephen Williams' confession, deputies say he did not tell them where he left Trisha Todd's body. Meanwhile, deputies and those dedicated volunteers are trying to cover as much ground as possible on foot and ATVs. We have a huge heart and we care about each other um, and we care about Trisha and we care about her family um, and we want to bring her home. And deputies say they will be out searching tonight until it gets dark and they say they will be back out here tomorrow. Kelly, back to you. Alyssa, thank you very much. So who is Stephen Williams? As we said, a member of the U.S. Air Force stationed in Raleigh, North Carolina. Our Katie Legrone, Contact 5 investigator, has been digging into his background to tell us more about him. She's also been speaking to the military and learning more about his marriage to Trisha Todd. Let's go to Katie back in the studio. 
Kelly Stephen Williams and Trisha Todd, married in 05, were separated in 2015. Their, their divorce finalized one year to the day later in February of this year. All the while, Williams has worked his way up in the U.S. Air Force, most recently holding the title instructor. Williams, based at Seymour Air Force Base in Goldsboro, North Carolina, teaches other airmen how to maintain the F 15 E Strike Eagle, which is a kind of fighter jet. Williams, who first enlisted in the military back in 03, is tasked with making sure these fighter jets are ready to hit the sky at a moment's notice. At this point, the Air Force has tells us he has not been the subject of any military justice actions. The military also confirming to us tonight that they are cooperating fully with local authorities and will determine his military future based on, in part, on the outcome of this investigation and any legal actions he will face. Katie LaRone, WPTV News Channel 5. Katie, thank you. Sadly, today we learned during that news conference this morning with the sheriff that there was someone else there the night Trisha Todd was killed. We talked to our legal expert, Michelle Suskauer, to get her take on how that will impact the case going forward. And we'll have that and much more team coverage for you coming up on News Channel 5 at 530. For now, Kelly Dunn, live in Hope Sound, WPTV News Channel 5.